What I like most about this place is that it's so wild, so far from the normal world, and it's so um, nature. There's, there's not really that much city life, there's not much humans around, which is actually quite cool because uh, the island is quite uh, wild, and uh, the spot, of course, the kite spot is really good. I think what's really special with Rodrigues is the size of a lagoon. It's huge, some places you don't even see the reef, and it's quite shallow. So if you're beginning, it's really perfect because you can walk everywhere and it's kind of safe. And for freestyle, you can go upwind and just under the reef, it's super flat and it's just perfect for everything. With the festival, the kite surf had a significant growth. That means um, with the festival, we have been many visibility about the spot in Rodrigue. As you may be aware, the spot here in Rodrigue is like among the three best in the world. The kite festival has started since 2012. We want people to know our spot, to profilize the discipline, to make Rodrigue known worldwide and to give a platform for the local riders actually to have exposure with professional riders. Now we have many, many locals who want to practice the kite. This is my first time in Rodriguez. It's crazy how small this island is and how remote it is from the world. And uh, I actually really like that the people here are really fun. Everyone like smiling all the time, everyone says hi. What impacted me the most is that everyone helps each other all the, the local riders are like fully into motivating each other and the level is actually quite high for such a small island and so far from the rest of the world. I was not expecting seeing so many riders on the bigger, bigger competition that was like massive tricks, massive loops. Not what I expected since it's so far from, from what we used to. To me, Rodrigues is kind of like Mauritius 50 years back, even though I wasn't there 50 years back. I mean, the locals are super friendly, the kiting community is really tied together. It's kind of a ritual here, after the session you go have a beer on the road and in the local shops, and then meet for dinner and the next day you just start all over again. No matter where you are on the island, they'll say hi, they'll greet you with a big smile and they're always here to help you, which kind of makes it different to anywhere in the world for me. I would definitely recommend uh, Rodriguez since if you just want to have a break from the world, you just want to hide every day, enjoy nature, go up the mountains, enjoy the colors. It's definitely one of the places I would recommend if you want to take it easy, ride, have fun, be cool with the locals, be separate from the, the world and just try to connect with, with nature.
C'est Evan Vagabond, nous sommes l'année prochaine dans le festival, on va le casser de Nissa. Je vous le dis, 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 je